found a couple of interesting things on the curb today. This is an old Kenmore dehumidifier with an Embraco reciprocating compressor, so I'm pretty sure this was made by Whirlpool. And uh, I would assume this thing still works fine. They had this thing sitting out next to a modern uh, crappier dehumidifier, and what I'm guessing happened is they put this thing to the side years ago because they thought it was too inefficient and they used the modern one and then the modern one broke and they threw both of them away so they could buy another one um, it's got the bucket with it coil is filthy obviously wasn't taken care of but I'm sure it still works so we'll test that out cover off. I don't know. I have to work on that. I don't want to break that. I think that's already cracked. Yeah, it is. I didn't pick up the uh, modern dehumidifier just because I knew that those are not, not even worth bothering with. Here's the information on the Kenmore. Looks like this is a 30 pint. Uses R500 refrigerant. 7 amps. And what is the date? I don't see any date. But yeah, that coil is pretty damn dirty. Alright, there's some screws holding at the bottom holding the front cover on, but I was able to unclip the top so we can at least see in there. There is the Embraco compressor. Get that back on there, and we will see how this thing works once I plug it in. You can hear that clicking. Okay, let's try it out. Well, it started. Compressor sounds good. Fan motor might be seized because I don't hear that running. Okay, so the compressor is working fine, but I don't feel any air being pulled through it. I think the fan motor is probably seized. I do hear a refrigerant though. This is getting cold. Alright, I got the cover off, and yeah, this fan is extremely hard to turn, so that's probably why it's not working. I will, uh, obviously take this thing apart completely and oil that motor. Here's the fan motor. It's an Emerson. 0.48 amps and this does have oil ports on it but obviously those have never been used so we're gonna have to take this apart and this is ridiculously stiff and uh, uh, this whole thing needs to be washed off so I'm gonna do that right now as you can see it's looking a whole lot cleaner now Oil's nice and clean. It took forever for the uh, water coming off of this to get clear. It was really dirty. Really dirty inside there too. So now I'm just gonna take the fan motor off and oil it. Because it needs it big time. I got the fan blade off. I had the motor opened up. Looks like the windings are fine, so. Hopefully we won't have any problems with that, but um, this motor was kind of a pain in the ass to get apart because and these end bells are not held on by screws or anything. The metal, um, as you can see where these little notches are on here, is actually bent over to 
prevent the end from coming off, so that was kind of a pain in the butt to get off, but um, at least I was able to get it off of there, so. Got the fan back on. It is spinning nice and free now, which is amazing considering how stiff it was. Uh, unfortunately, all of the thrust washers deteriorated and broke, so hopefully this thing doesn't make a bunch of noise with the shaft going in and out. If it does, I'll just get more washers and take it apart again. But, uh, I'm going to start it up real quick just with the cover off, and then we'll put the cover back on. Alright, let's try it now. Oh, that motor still works fine. Which is amazing. I'm going to let it run like this for a little while and see if the uh, refrigeration system is still good. Alright, I've been testing this dehumidifier for a while. It is not working properly. Bottom few rows get frozen up and uh, it kicks off on defrost mode. Yeah, this thing is low on refrigerant. What a shame. So, let's check our amp draw. That's all it is. That's about as high as it gets. And that's way below where it's supposed to be, so. That sucks. I mean, obviously it has refrigerant in it, and it's, and it's caught a little bit of water, but it's not working the way it's supposed to be.